Good afternoon and welcome to the New England B2B Video Networking Show. My name is Kevin Willett. I am the chairman and CEO of the, the New England B2B Networking Group. Today I'm joined by my buddy Paul Gill. Good afternoon, Paul. How are you doing? Good afternoon, Kevin. Doing great. So, so today we're going to be talking about graphene. So first of all, what is it? Well, graphene is a uh, interesting material. It is um, 200 times stronger than steel. It is a uh, thousand times more conductive than copper and two dimensional um, hexagon made out of carbon atoms and uh, it's, it makes it very flexible and uh, it's also almost transparent at that uh, 2D level. Now we can make all kinds of different objects out of it and uh, recently we've been um, using it in a 3D printer to, to bring some of those interesting properties to to products that uh, are going to be very futuristic and interesting. Wow, that's just utterly amazing stuff. That's very cool. I want to talk about the 3D Lab. So what does the company do and why is it important? Yeah, what we've done at Lamico Metals is invested in a company called Graphene 3D Lab. It trades under the uh, OTC under the symbol GPHBF. And uh, it's, a, it's a very interesting company because what it takes is this material graphene, which is, you know, very difficult to work with uh, unless you have a, um, a way of delivering it to the end product. So basically what three, the 3D Lab Group does is use that material on a coating or in pellet form or in ink form in a 3D printer so you can take it from the material right to your end product and you basically can print your end product of this uh, graphene and you can make it super strong or uh, uh, conductive material. And essentially the, the idea here is to be able to print electronic products, so like batteries and uh, cell phones. That's amazing. Now you guys are a technology company to start with, but actually you're a mining company. So how did yeah, you get involved are. in e-commerce and uh, manufacturing and selling products? Really, it's yeah, a little well, different. That's, a, that's an interesting uh, situation. But basically what we did is um, uh, we started off uh, and we still have mining product projects which have uh, graphite um, in them. And so we're developing those. But what we're doing at the same time is looking for the end market for these products, for this graphite raw material. And so what we discovered was graphite, uh, which is also a um, very pure form of carbon, can be turned into graphene, and then that graphene can be put into an end product. So we decided to, to uh, invest in all of these vertical markets. So we can sell graphite uh, that's good for pencil lead. I mean, that's what graphite is. Or we can sell graphite that's good for battery battery and battery grade, um, um, the lithium ion batteries. Or we can convert it to graphene and sell it in um, end products such as um, um, there's a well, there's 12,000 different patents on graphene uh, on stuff that you know is bizarre as um, uh, contact lenses that are infrared to water filtration devices that Lockheed Market Martin is working on to um, replacement for Kevlar will stop bullets. So it's uh, incredible stuff, and and you know this is the this is that graphene 3D lab. It's going to be a great company. That sounds amazing. I want to talk a little bit about um, graphene ESD because mobile devices are the future. So uh, mobile energy storage devices need to be better, right, Paul? Yeah, I agree. And, you know, everyone's got a cell phone that dies on them halfway <laughs> through the day because it, smartphones are, are so much, um, so have so much capability, but our batteries just haven't uh, got to that level of uh, requirement uh, that, that we require. So, the idea is to store more energy in the same space. And uh, so what we've been able to do is, is think about ways in which to store that energy. Graphene is a great storage device for energy. And uh, we can create graphene supercapacitors, which will charge up quickly and pair that with a lithium ion battery, which will be able to run a device. We've got a, a, a sort of a plug in plug-and-go um, charging device that um, allows you to, to uh, zip up your, um, uh, charge up your, your 
cell phone and uh, run out the door without having to wait two or three hours for it to, to charge up properly. So, Paul, roughly how long would it take to charge then? Uh, we're looking at under five, five to ten minutes, uh, wow. less than five to ten. And uh, I think that's going to um, uh, give you, uh, um, you know, a standard full charge and then under under 30 seconds to give you uh, 25 to 30 percent charge. And, you know, and those things can be changed and, and improved upon as well as we develop the technology. But um, the idea is to is, you know, that applies not only to cell phones, it applies to uh, mobile mobile vehicles like electric vehicles. It uh, applies to golf carts and uh, and uh, there have applications there, medical devices. So the the incredible market for this stuff is uh, and there's an incredible market for this stuff. Uh, there's no doubt about that. Like you said, to be able to expand the technology would be just great because, you know, that's the concern with people looking at electric cars as well. You know, if, if it runs out of juice too quick. So if you can expand that and get it to recharge quickly, that's big. Yeah, recharge quickly and then maybe even go longer than a normal tank of gas. would. Yeah. That's that's going to impress me. I mean, I want to be able to to be able to run that car um, and it's got to be better than the products out there now. That's what we want as consumers. We want products that are better than the ones we had before. So I think the next iteration of, of electric vehicles have to have to meet that demand from consumers. You know, make it better. Very I think well Elon, guys like Elon Musk and Tesla are trying to do that. But there's a hundred other companies out there that are running. Uh, vehicles or, or cell phones or other electronic devices. It's all going mobile. We want it all and we want it now and we want it to be in our pocket. And, uh, you know, I think that's uh, that's something that we can deliver if we've got the right uh, capability designed into it. So, Paul, um, I just need to grab your contact information before we let you go. Name your company, website. How do people reach out to you? Sure. Um, I'm A. Paul Gill, CEO of Lamico Metals, which trades under the TSX uh, venture under the symbol LMR and on the OTCQX uh, at LMRMF. You can reach us at our website, www.lomico.com, L-O-M-I-K-O.com. And uh, our straight cell phone contact is 604-729-5312. So we look forward to hearing from you. Give us a call. Paul, I really appreciate you taking the time out there to come on the show, and thanks for being my friend. Yeah, thanks, Kevin. Thank you. Yep, bye now.